Hi there, I'm John Muir Laws, and today I'm going to show you how to use the clinometer on your compass. This will help you measure all sorts of cool angles, and we're even going to take a look at sighting at objects and how to get the angle of the sun in the sky without going blind. All right, so uh, your compass may have a clinometer included as, 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 as part of its setup. Um, if so, um, this, is, this is my clinometer here. If you look, there's a little arrow that points down. As I tilt the compass, that arrow still points down. See that? And it's rolling along little degree markings, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, right? As you do that, so I can, um, basically if I'm holding this at an angle, I can read that angle off right off of the, the little um, reading on the inside of my compass. That's pretty cool. That's what the clinometer is. Um, here's how to use it. First note that this dial spins. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take it so that the letter E for east is going to line up with the little indicator arrow um, right at the head of the compass. Then. Um, so that's east-west going this way. So it needs to, excuse me, put this little white card behind it. All right. If if that's not lined up, then the readings, the the 360 or uh, 180 degree uh, marks, are going to be off. So I line it up with east. All right. That's what I want. Then. Um, I can just, the simplest way of using this is just if there's a slope like this, you put your compass right on it. All right, so here's my slope. I align my compass on it, and then I can, on that clinometer, I can read, I can read the angle of this slope. So if it's the, the little red arrow is pointing to 20, it's a 20 degree slope. All right, sometimes when you put your compass directly on a slope, any little bump on that slope can really throw off the reading. So what a lot of people will do, geologists will often kind of average that slope distance as they're holding their angle of their compass to get the dip, All right? That's the, the, the angle of, the, of that slope. So um, you may not want to rest it directly on there. So that's, that's one really easy way of using the clinometer. But I can also use it to sight at things. Um, the angle to the top of a pole, right, or a tree. Um, if I'm trying to get the angle to the top of a tree, what I do is I use this hole right here in the front as my sighting hole. And I'm going to line, you're where the tree is, right? So you're the tree. And what I'm doing is I'm lining this compass up with you. So it's this plate of the compass is in a vertical plane. I'm going to tilt the mirror back so that I can read the clinometer in the mirror's reflection. Pretty cool, All right? I'm going to line the string here up with the hole. So I don't want this tilted. I want it want to be sighting down this through this hole. And there I go. And if I'm looking up, I can get an angle up. If I'm looking down, I can read, get an angle down. And what I'm doing is just reading that, reading that angle off of the reflection in the clinometer. So that's how you can get an angle up or down. Only problem is if you're looking at the sun, because you've now just gone blind, right? You're sighting at the sun. Uh, you can't read your clinometer because you can't see. Okay, so what are you going to do about this? We're going to use a really cool trick. Instead of looking at the sun, we're going to turn our backs to the sun. All right, so now the sun is over there. I've turned my back to the sun. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a reading off the shadow of my head on the ground in front of me. Right? So specifically, the part of my head that I'm lining it up with is my eyes are halfway down my head. My eyes aren't toward, people often draw eyes way up uh, top, you know, two thirds of the way up the head, but they're actually halfway down. So you wanna, if you can see your ears in your reflection, they're probably right at the level of your eyes, line it up with that sort of ear eye line, and that's gonna be your target. Only problem is when you're looking through this little sighting hole, it's going to be 
hard to see, you know, am I in the middle of the head or not? So the first thing I do is I look down on the ground and I find some target object, maybe a brightly colored leaf or a little pebble down there on the ground. And I'm going to move around to take my shadow so that I'm putting that object right there in my shadow. And I hold my head still and I sight so that I can see that object through here. And then I read my bearing. So I haven't been looking at the sun. I'm looking at the shadow. Right? If you're looking at you know, the, the elevation, the, the angle to a bird nest or something like that, right, you can sight right up to it. So that is a really powerful trick. I'm able to get an angle off of any object, even the sun. Just I'm not going to look straight at the sun. I'm going to get the reverse effect by looking down at my shadow on the ground. Again, a line that goes through my eyes and my shadow through my eyes is going to project directly up to the sun behind me. That's our tip for the day. Happy nature journaling, everybody. I'll see you around.